what's good YouTube man it's Gabriel to fan TV back at you another video man we're gonna talk about that Ravens end of the season press conference real quick I ain't gonna hold y'all too long to get some takeaways from it and um, you know this is really the first move going into next season right so um, obviously first of all um, you know if you like the content go ahead uh, you know hit the like button like, like the channel go ahead subscribe but um but look man you know the Ravens obviously they parted ways with Greg Roman today that was big big news a lot of Ravens fans were looking for that announcement um, some stuff came out earlier today, you know, about, yeah, one more year left on this contract. Fans is a little nervous about that, but no, they, they, they made it official. They, they parted ways where Roman was officially was going to seek, uh, other opportunities and things like that. So, you know, Hey, listen, there's no shot at Greg Roman, no shade to Greg Roman, but you know, it was time to move on as obviously as long as it's been time to move on for a couple of years. So, you know, good luck to him to wherever he goes next and in all his future endeavors, but it was time for the Ravens moving in a different direction. Okay. All right, now, as far as the press conference goes, right, there are a couple big things that we're talking about. Lamar Jackson, obviously, at the top of the, at the, top of the list right there. Um, offensive coordinator, secondly. Wide receivers. They talk about wide receivers a lot. And then I got some other things in there as well, all right? So, as far as Lamar goes, the area that causes to him and Lamar actually talked today. So, they're already talking about the contract and things like that. So, Lamar Jackson was in the building. They're talking. He's still rehabbing. So, that's a good sign, right, that the uh, conversation continues. So, I like that. Um, Harbaugh said that Lamar is their quarterback. He, he has 200% um, confidence in Lamar Jackson to be their quarterback. All right. Somebody asked him about the potential. Of, somebody asked Eric DeCoss about the potential of trading Lamar Jackson. He said, I'm not getting into that. We don't even want to talk about that possibility. We're focused on signing him long term. All right. So obviously they're saying all the right things. I will say this. This is a press conference. So take things with a grain of salt. Obviously, there will be some things that are true in here, but, you know, it is what it is. DeCosta said that their, their relationship with Lamar is good, but it can be tough when a player is negotiating for himself. Um, but he said their personal relationship is fine. No no issues there. Um, the Ravens have room for the franchise tag if needed. They're making it sound like it's a last resort, which is, obviously it is. You don't want to go down that route, but they have room for it. Um, somebody asked them about, somebody asked John Harbaugh, did they have concerns about Lamar Jackson's injury history over the last couple of years not finishing the season? He said that Lamar Jackson is an extremely durable player. He's a hard worker, that he has no concerns over Lamar having any long-term injury effects. Um, that both of the plays that he got hurt on were fluke, were fluke accidents and, um, you know, things that just happened in the contact sport. All right. Uh, let's see. And they asked him, what is your confidence that Lamar Jackson will be your quarterback week one? He said, I, Eric DeCosta said, I don't see why any reason why he wouldn't be here week one. You know what I mean? So. All good stuff on Lamar Jackson front. Um, obviously, there's still challenges and things they have to work through and go through as far as getting a deal done. But as far as the um, the way they make it sound, obviously, you know, Lamar is in their plans long term and as he should be. Right. All right. Anyway, so offensive coordinator, uh, a couple of things that was interesting. They said that Lamar Jackson will be a part of the process in picking the offensive coordinator. Now, I don't know if that means that they're going to he's not only he's really going to pick anybody. But I think they are going to run by run him by like, you know, names of guys that they're interested in and see if Lamar likes those guys. Now, I wouldn't you wouldn't do that if you didn't have plan on having this guy here in your long term future. OK. All right. They said they said, you know, part of Eric DeCosta and Lamar talking today was about the offensive coordinator position. OK, so it sounds like it's really just about getting obviously it's just about getting the contract. Done. That's, that's a statement that doesn't need to be made, but it's about getting the numbers correctly, I should say. Right. They get the numbers correctly. Lamar wants to be here. DeCosta wants him here. Harbaugh wants him here. Everybody wants to be here just about getting the numbers right. All right, because they're talking to him about offensive coordinators, right? And if you were just moving on for the future, Lamar's input wouldn't be that important. But since it is important, that's a good sign to me and should be a good sign to most Ravens fans, all right? Um, they said they will interview internal and external for offensive coordinator. No surprise there. Um, I said, you know, I, I had thought before that honestly – I know we got. I know Ravens has a lot of different ideas in their mind about who could be the Ravens offensive coordinator. I like uh, Brian Johnson. He's now that he's currently the Eagles uh, QB coach. I do like him, but I could see them going internal and hiring and doing a guy like T. T. Martin. All right, it just is what the Ravens do. He's been he's been in the system before. Uh, he was interviewed by the Bills last year as far as you know offensive coordinator job. Didn't get that one, but he's familiar with John Harbaugh. Um, he's familiar with the talent that's on the team currently as it as it goes. So it's the kind of move that the Ravens do. Now, I'm not saying that's with 100% confidence, nowhere near that. They very well could go outside the organization, you know what I mean? But T. Martin would be a guy that's like, that's a Ravens type of move. They, they just promote from the inside. I'm just throwing it out there, all right? Now, I didn't expect them to talk about them as they did, but the wide receiver position, 
All right, Acosta said they will look at the wide receiver process, right, and how they get guys and things like that. Harbaugh mentioned multiple times that the wide receiver room needs to be rebuilt and revamped. Now, I wasn't expecting him to be that honest about it. I really wasn't, but he said it multiple times, right? He said that the tight ends, running back room, they're pretty much set. Now, we could add a guy here and there, but he said that the main building is going to be getting the wide receiver room right, you know? Um, obviously, you know, they, they, they like Bateman, they like Duvernay, but besides that, he really didn't mention any other wide receivers. It was Bateman, Duvernay, the rest of the room needs to be built. So, uh, you know, some of that's obviously the fans want to hear as well. Now, Eric DaCosta did make a point. He said that, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of fans want to see the Ravens tra trade for a top flight wide receiver that's going, you know, it costs money to get that kind of guy, right? He pretty much said he won't mortgage the future for a top wide receiver. Now, there are things that they can do to get a guy here that will make sense for the Ravens. Of course, they, they, they will explore all avenues. But he was very clear that he he didn't mention the Rams, but he was kind of throwing a little bit of shot at the Rams. He said that, you know, there's teams that had a lot of top-heavy guys, and then, you know, we see the um, the effects of that years later. You know, we saw what the Rams went through this year. The Rams were very, very bad this year, and they don't own really any of their draft picks, okay? So, Eric Acosta pretty much said, I'm not going to mortgage the future for that. He said that, pretty much. That's pretty much what he said, okay? Um, he said Rashad Bateman, they talk about injuries. Rashad Bateman will, will be running soon, so that's good for Rashad Bateman. Um, you know, he just had the foot surgery, so, you know, don't want to rush him or nothing like that. And Harbaugh talked about expanding the offense and having a more balanced passing game, right? Shotgun, drop back, um, at any uh, red zone. He mentioned all of that. He wanted to have a more balanced and efficient passing game and a balanced offense in general, right? So he mentioned all of that, okay? Um, oh, okay, I'm on my car. <laughs> so as far as injuries go, so that, that's pretty much all I talk about the wide receivers, right? Now, as far as injuries go, okay? Uh, DaCosta said that the Ravens only have one player that has, uh, that's going to need a surgery in this offseason. So that's good. Um, all right. Now other, and then we'll wrap it up here. Um, Harbaugh talked to JK Dobbins about his frustrations about not getting as many touches as he wanted to in that playoff game. He said that they're good. He liked the way the conversation went and that there's no issues with JK Dobbins and you know what happened as far as, you know, his press conference at the um, end of the game. Right. He likes to kind of, he likes to kind of fire from his players. So they're all good there. Um, the Costa did mention that they will attack cornerbacks in the free agency and in the draft like they always do. He said the same thing that he always says, that they believe in having a lot of good cornerbacks. And he says the possibility Marcus Peters could be back, but wouldn't get into it. Also said the same thing about Patrick Queen. Somebody asked him, about, are you going to pick up Patrick Queen's fifth-year option? He said that if Patrick Queen is playing out at elite level, we, we want to keep as many good players as possible. But I won't discuss that decision right now as far as what we're going to do with his option. Okay? And a uh, team-building thing he said was... Um, that the Ravens look to build a team to win the division every year and compete in the playoffs, right? Because uh, people say, well, do you build a team for uh, regular season or playoff success, whatever? He said, we build a team first to win the division. So, you know, all right, cool there. Um, and then lastly, he mentioned that he's excited for Ojabo and that Ojabo could have played earlier in the season, but they, did, they didn't want to rush him back from his injury because they felt like they had good depth of outside linebacker. That's what he said. All right. And last thing is that Ben Powers, who had a really, really good season this year, uh, came out of nowhere, honestly. A lot of people didn't expect him to start this year, let alone be on the team. Uh, he said that he might not be back this year because he feels that Ben Powers will have a lot of suitors because of how well he played, right? And that's pretty much the main things that I got from this press conference, man. So uh, a lot of good things, a lot of good things said, you know, they said all the right things, right? You know, obviously the press conference can be a bunch of lies, a bunch of half-truths, you know, but I think the Ravens said things that the fans want to hear. They want to hear about Lamar Jackson being the quarterback of the future. And they want to hear about the wide receiver room getting better. They want to hear about the offensive coordinator position. So they kind of hit on everything that their favorite fans want to hear. So I, I was cool with it, man. Those are my takeaways. Let me know if you guys watched and you had any other takeaways from the press conference. And we'll talk about it in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabriel, which is another fan TV. I'm out.